thank you for visiting my channel thinking like a virtuous woman where i inspire women to think like the woman of proverbs 31 spiritually financially and relationally so i was asked if it's okay to pray for a future spouse now <laughs> i always find it funny when people try to tell other people what they can and can't pray for like that's always funny to me but um in short the answer is yes yes you can pray for anything you want to pray for you can go to god for anything you want to pray for right and so you know i think people take matthew 6 and 33 and they they take it out of context matthew 36 and 33 is seek ye first the kingdom of god and all of his righteousness and everything else should be added to you i've heard people use that scripture in order to tell someone that that's all that they should be praying for it's just it's just that relationship with God. While that should be first, we should seek God and his righteousness above all else. We can also ask God for other things that we want. We just don't want to idolize it. We just don't want to begin putting things in front of God, right? Because God is not going to give us anything that we're going to put in front of him anyway, right? So um, I think it's just a problem when we begin idolizing marriage, when it's all we think about we begin praying for that more than we pray for our relationship with God. We, we think about that more than we think about going to heaven. Like we want to be married more than we want to go to heaven. We want to be close to a man or close to a woman more than we want to be close to God. That's when it's a problem. It's okay to come to God with what you want. The Bible tells us to cast our cares upon him. The Bible also tells us to acknowledge him in all of our ways. Everything matters to God. The Bible also tell, tells us to come with him with thanksgiving and prayer and supplication and to not worry about anything but to pray about everything keyword everything and i remember um god brought to my remembrance the story of hannah i was literally lying in the bed one day and my daughter and i we were actually out out of town and we were laying in the hotel room taking a nap it was the middle of the day we were taking a nap she was sleeping in her bed and i was laying in my bed and it was so amazing how god literally dropped hannah into my spirit now i was actually laying down trying to trying to go to sleep and so when he brought hannah to my remembrance i went to that story and um uh is that samuel first samuel i believe don't quote me I, i'll i'll list it below or leave it on the screen somewhere don't quote me but um where hannah went and asked god hannah actually cried out to god for a son i would say is that the prophet Eli heard her and thought that something was wrong. And so the fact that he heard her and thought that something was wrong with her and thought that she was drunk or had been drinking, that let me know that she was crying. I mean, like really crying and sobbing and like literally crying out to God. And so um, Hannah told God that if you would give me a son, I will give him back to you. And God ended up answering Hannah's prayer and he blessed her with a son, Samuel. And so once she um, gave birth to him and she weaned him off of nursing him, she actually took him back to the temple like she promised. And then he lived there with the prophet Eli. And so the thing is, you know, when we go to God, we need to, when we do go to God, we need to go to God um, with, with the spirit of Hannah and asking God to, to, to give us this thing. But what are you going to give God in return, right? Not that God is looking for anything. God is, he doesn't need anything from us, but just, I, I believe that God honors our heart to even want to give it, give something back to him, right? So if you desire that desire a spouse, if God gives you that, how are you going to give that spouse or your marriage back to him? One way you can do that is by glorifying God with your marriage. One of the things that I, that I um, promise to God um, when it when it comes to my future marriage is that I'm going to glorify you with my future marriage. I'm only going to marry a man that I know that is going to be um, purposeful. Our, our purpose together is going to bring you glory. Our purpose together is going to bring other people into the kingdom. So this is one of the ways that I will honor God with my marriage. This is one of the ways that I will give God um, to give my marriage back to God. So just think about those things like what are you going to do? to honor God, how are you going to glorify, how are you going to give that thing back to God that you are praying so earnestly for, and it's okay to earnestly pray, just look at Hannah, Hannah cried, and there's so many other people in the Bible who cried out to God and asked God, Jesus himself cried out to God and prayed to God about everything, it is okay, don't let anybody tell you to not pray about certain things, 
The Bible says to acknowledge him in all our ways. The Bible says to pray about everything. So that means that everything matters to him. So I hope that this was helpful to you if you were wondering if you should pray about a spouse or pray about a job or pray about whether you should um, move to another location, whether you should wear a certain thing that day. I've heard someone say she prays about what she wears um, in the morning. She, she prays about it first. And someone actually laughed at her for saying that. I mean, why would you not pray about everything? If you have that type of relationship with God, who are we to tell someone that they can't pray about what they're going to wear for the day? God cares about everything. So it's okay. So I hope that this was praying for you if you were also in a place where you wondered whether it's okay to pray up pray to God for a spouse and it's okay to pray for your future spouse if you have a question or a video suggestion or a prayer request feel free to email me at thinking like a virtuous woman at gmail.com I'll leave it in the description box and thank you again for visiting my channel thinking like a virtuous woman be blessed